In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of group policy restricted groups to control or, or modify the member of um, local groups on workstations. So I've got my workstation here. I've pulled up the administrators group and you can see the members of this group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an Active Directory group to push that out to all the workstations and have that um, Active Directory group be a member of the local administrator group on all the workstations. So let's jump over to Active Directory. I've got my AD group created that I want to be a member of the local administrators group. It's called IS Workstation Admins. I've got all of my help desk staff as a member of this group. So we just need to jump over to Group Policy. And I'm going to don't have a group policy so I'm going to go ahead and just create a new one and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new GPO and link it to where my computers are and you can call this anything call it restricted group help desk and and then we'll come over here and right click and edit this group policy. It's a computer configuration policy. So I will drill down into policies, window settings, security settings, and restricted groups. And there's no settings configured, so I need to add a group. And this is the group that you want to be a member of another group. So this is my Active Directory workstations group. I'll just browse IS Workstation Admin Group. Hit OK. So now I need to tell it what I want this group to be a member of. And this is going to be the administrators group on the local workstations. So I want to use the, this group as a member of. So I'll hit Add. And I want to type in um, exactly what the group is I want it to be a member of. And it's the administrators group. So I will just type in administrators. So this IS workstation admin SG active directory group is going to be a member of the administrators group on the local workstations. So hit apply. I uh, don't know where that came from, but I'm going to delete that. All right, so let me pull group policy back up. I just want to verify that group policy is linked to the folder that it contains my um, computers. It is, so, so now I'll um, run a GP update to refresh the group policy. So that is complete. Now I will refresh my groups and check the members, member of, and you can see that domain uh, IS Workstation Admins Group has became a member of this uh, local administrators group. So that is how you use uh, group policy restricted groups to take domain groups and automatically have them join local uh, groups on the workstations. Thanks for watching.